Hi everyone, welcome along to another video in this series where I summarise the procedure and findings of one of the studies from component two of the OCR A-level psychology syllabus. This video is about Grant et al. study from 1998. Uh, let's get into it and see if we can do it in 60 seconds. This study was a lab experiment with an independent measures design and had 39 participants who were recruited using opportunity sampling. Participants read an article, either in silent conditions or noisy conditions, and then two minutes later did two sets of questions, again, either in silent or noisy conditions, making four groups overall. In the short answer test, people scored 6.45 on average in the matching conditions and five in the mismatching conditions. In the multiple choice, they scored 14.3 out of 16 in the matching conditions on average and 12.7 in the mismatching. This also found that noise by itself had no effect. The only significant difference in this study was whether people matched their learning condition or didn't match their learning condition. So we can conclude from this study that studying and testing in the same environment leads to enhanced performance and there are context dependent effects for newly learned information regardless of how it's tested or recalled. From evaluation points, good standardization and good control. Everyone wore headphones even if they were in the silent conditions, so more reliable and valid. There's a limited sample size, however, and it did only use students making it quite unrepresentative. That was bang on 60 seconds. Amazing. The key things for this study, get the average scores for the matching and mismatching conditions for the multiple choice and short answer tests rather than learning every single set of results in my experience. It makes it a little bit easier plus the act of actually learning and working out what those averages are mean your brain has to work a little bit harder and means you're more likely to remember it. Uh, this is a really nice straightforward study. Uh, nevertheless, let me know in the comments if you've got any questions or anything that doesn't make sense about it, and I will see you next time.